Hey boys and girls. So today for an art project that I thought you guys might enjoy doing at home, um, I have some supplies out to do some painting um, with food coloring and water and vegetable oil. I know that these are supplies that some of us have in our homes and some of us don't and that's really that's okay if we don't have them that's okay this is sometimes we can just like use this as an opportunity to just paint with watercolor if we have watercolor at home or we can maybe find some brushes and we can even just do um water painting and we can dip paper in water and we can just experiment a little bit if we want to but I wanted to just show you what I had in my kitchen and um, try to find a way to make it fun so you will see on the tray that I have I have a little bit of vegetable oil at my house I have these wacky little squeezers not everybody has those and that's really okay if you don't have one you don't need this this is just like a fancy thing um, and I have water, I have food coloring in four different colors, red, yellow, green, and blue. I have a bunch of little pieces of paper that I've cut up. They're teeny tiny, they're quite teeny tiny. So if you look at the size of a food coloring bottle, like that's the size of my paper. It's not very big and I cut it so that it could be dipped into all the different containers. Um, and so what we're doing or what you guys are going to do today is this you are going to take a little bit of water and so i have put in geez how much water is this i would say this is maybe like four three or four tablespoons of water there sure is not a whole lot of water in here at all um, and then I am taking some food coloring so I am gonna try to do my best to really make the water a different color sometimes if you only put in maybe like one or two drops it gets like almost like it's a really really light version of the color and I want my color so I have maybe like three or four tablespoons of water um, and then I have maybe like 10, did I drop it like 10 times, like 10 drops of, of food coloring in there. And then I'm going to take my squeezer again. If you don't have a squeezer, it's okay. You can just gentle pour if you want to gentle pour or, um, I'm going to use my squeezer and I'm going to drop two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, ten. I did ten little itsy bitsy drops on my green water um, and so you can see that I've already done this with red so I did the same thing I put in maybe like four or five tablespoons of water and like ten drops of red or I did the same thing with blue and then I dropped oil bloop 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 but again you can do like if you want to you can I have a chopstick and I just use a chopstick and you can drip drop with chopstick or you can drip drop with a fork um, so there are lots of different ways to drip drop it just so happens that I have a fancy drip drop tool um, and so what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna take one of my white pieces of paper the little white ones and what I want to do is I'm gonna try to catch the oil drops on my paper so I'm gonna look I'm gonna exper I'm gonna be an investigator and I'm gonna look and try to find where my oil, oil drops are and I'm gonna lay my paper down bloop oh did you see that the paper soaked up the oil and oh check that out isn't that kind of rad mm -hmm. so anywhere just like when we do um, oil um, oil pastel resist in our classroom it's the same kind of thing where we're doing oil the vegetable oil and it resists the color it resists the watercolor or the um, food coloring and so everywhere where the oil touches the paper the oil um, the water sorry the color doesn't get sucked in to wherever those blips and blobs are um, I'm gonna try it again I'm gonna experiment. So I had a piece actually 
that I did before with the blue. And the blue like turned out kind of dark, but not super dark. So I maybe should have used a little extra. But maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the red on top of the blue. Let's see if anything happens. Let's see, anything exciting at all. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, check it out, check it out. Oh, so it's like a combination of the red and the blue. Nice, that's pretty awesome sauce. So I'm gonna put that right here. Do you guys notice that I have all this stuff on a tray on like a little cookie sheet? So I can try to keep my mess to one place because you know what guys? The art room is a different place. The art room, we're making messes all over the place. Maybe you don't have necessarily like a place where you can really sort of throw your your art, get your arting all over. So having some kind of tray like this, maybe a grown up can help you find something. I also have some brown paper because if you don't have white paper, I took a paper bag and I cut a paper bag up. And so what I tried to do was I actually drew little pictures on some of this paper. Let's test a brown. Let's see what happens with the brown. All right, you ready? Okay, we're gonna drop it in. Ooh, do you see everywhere that the oil is? I did. Oh, hello. So, is it necessarily as dark? Can you see it as much? Eh, not as much, but can you see it? Yeah, a little bit. All right, so we're experimenting. We're wondering, we're questioning. I made this little drawing. Why not? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Shall we dip it in the, I think people are probably thinking I should dip it in the red. Should I dip in the red? Let's do it. Oh, can you see everywhere that the oil is? I can. Whoa. What do you think of that? That's pretty sweet. I can move my water because I already used it. Look at these teeny tiny masterpieces. These are amazing. So all you need at home, teeny tiny pieces of paper, pieces that will fit inside of Tupperware containers or like little glass dishes or little flat plates that you have. Um, and you're gonna need food coloring, you're gonna need water, and you're gonna maybe put mm, about four tablespoons. So let's ask a grown-up for help if you need to ask a grown-up for help. Maybe about four or five tablespoons of water in your containers. You really don't want, if I look on the side of this, so I'm measuring, so burp, 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 burp. maybe it ends up being like Oh gosh, like that much of my finger. Just like that much of my finger on the side. It is really quite shallow. You don't want it to be deep. You want it to be shallow, just a little bit. Even if I put my finger in it, boop, boop, boop. It only touches like the tippity tip tip of my finger. So it's not very deep at all. Um, and then you're gonna put the food coloring in, maybe like, 10 drops and then you can experiment. So 10 drops and then give it a swish, swirl it around. And then you can always take a piece of paper, guys. You can take one of your pieces and you can give it a little dip and you can just see, ooh, and you can say, oh, that was nice. So that was like five drops, hmm, looking pretty good. Or you can dip it in and you can be like, oh, I don't even see it at all. And then put bloop, bloop, maybe two more drops in and see what happens. Um, and then after you put your water color in or your food coloring in and it's the color that you want, oh, my dinner's done. Did you guys just hear that? And so what you're gonna do after that is you're gonna take either your food dropper or you're gonna take a fork or you're gonna take like um, your finger and you're gonna dip. I don't know, like 10 little drippity drops of oil in. And then what you're gonna do after that is you're gonna use your paper and then you're gonna go on a hunt. You are an oil hunter and you are going to catch that oil. Here you go. Did I catch any? I 
think I did. I caught some drops. Sweet. Yes. I'm a catcher. I did it. Um, so, you guys can see that what I did was I am making mini masterpieces using some supplies that are in my kitchen. You can do a drawing on paper first. I would highly suggest using a permanent marker because without a permanent marker, water can um, cause the marker to spread. So a permanent marker is really, that's the way to go. And after you do your drawing, do your little drawing, and after you do your little drawing, then you drop it in. After you drop it in, boop, 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 you pick it up. The brown, I don't know, you see it a little bit. Not the most, but you see it a little. It sure isn't bad, I'll tell you that for sure. And then what you can do, even after things have dried a bit, so this was a blue, I don't know if you can see it, but this was a blue, you can sort of see where the oil is, and um, you can dip it again. Why not? And see what happens. Oh, then you get a double dip. Cool. I'm making a little factory here, guys. So, this is something you can do at home. This is just something fun to do to keep your creative brain moving. If you don't have these supplies at home, um, and this is something that you would like to do, um, then maybe you can ask a grown up and say, is this something that we can make available? And if not, then you can always use watercolor. You can use watercolor and you can mix that up. Or if you have any other kind of paint, you can mix that up and um, you can just see what happens. But for real, make sure you ask a grown up to ask uh, for help. I didn't put any more than like a tablespoon of oil in here, a tablespoon of just regular vegetable oil. And that is something that you might need to ask for some help to find um, in the kitchen. Okay, have fun guys. Look at this little guy. Jeez, he's real cute. Murmur. Have fun and make mini masterpieces. Send me pictures. I'm excited to see them. All right, guys, have a good day. Talk to you soon. Miss you, miss you. Bye-bye.